play. So now I get to clean up all of these eggs to try and sell, which shouldn't be an issue because people are trying to find eggs, fresh eggs to sell. Take a look at what I got. I've already done this dozen. Mixed colors, Americanas and brown eggs, and then we've even got some mottled eggs in here somewhere. Working on this dozen, these are the ones I gotta clean up. And I essentially just put them in water for a little bit and I use a microfiber that I just had laying around. This cleans nicely and this just loosens up some of the dirt. I don't put all of them in there if they're not too dirty. That one I'll probably put in there. That one's pretty good so I'm not gonna mess with it. It's better to not clean them, but obviously there are people that don't like to buy dirty eggs. That one's not too bad. So we clean them just because I mean, if people, if we, we do have some people that request us not to touch them, so there's another dozen, so we won't clean them at all, but for the most part, we do try to keep them clean. We just stick them in an old fridge that we keep outside, and then we have the details on what they need to do. Sorry about the wind. They can stick their cash in a box, which is locked grab their eggs and go any time of day. I had torn apart some comfrey plants last fall and potted them separately. And they're starting to come back up, which I'm really excited about. I'm hoping all of them do. We meant to get them in the ground before winter hit and we didn't. So they've been sitting in the pot all winter, but it's still early yet. I got some more over here. More comfrey plants coming up. Oh, I see one coming up here. Hopefully the rest of these come up. And then our blueberry bushes are blooming. They've been sitting in these pots all winter as well. And then over here, I'll show you, is a willow tree we bought last fall that we didn't get in the ground either. But it's coming back nicely. So we're gonna plant this where that chicken coop is. We're gonna tear that down, save the wood, put this willow tree there that way it'll be near the stream and that'll make a nice little privacy area over there which we're kind of excited about these are all the windows we got for absolutely free we have a couple windows down here still we got to bring up but I think this will be all we need to create the greenhouse we're thinking about getting the wood this week what we plan to do is clean this cardboard up and the wire from the old greenhouse that we took down and play a big old game of Tetris right here once we get some wood for the framing using these windows. Now one thing I gotta do, if anybody local wants to come over and help, a lot of these have hardware on them that I'm gonna have to just sit down here and this may happen later this afternoon, I don't know, I still got work to do in the house. Take all this hardware off. So if anybody wants to come over with a screwdriver and help me go through all these windows and take all this hardware off, feel free. We can make a little outdoor social distancing party but again it would be outdoors and we'd have to take precautions but this is a lot of hardware to go through are you eating lunch with the chickens yep got yourself a little table on the side there yep. <laughs> so far sam's doing pretty good we put him in here last night I think he's still getting used to it, but the other rooster's not here to beat him up. It doesn't look like he's been beat up at all. But I don't know, he's got like a little mark on the right side of his face. Can you see that? That looks minor. Oh, is that old? Okay. We have a raccoon going after everything. He's going after the banties right now. Hasn't been scared of me at all, so we're not sure if he's a rabbit or not. You see him? He's on the right side of that doghouse right now. I can see him from here. Nice shot. This is my dad's first time trying. Smells like piss. 
fire cider. All right, Dad, try it. You gotta gulp it down. Chug it. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> my little thingy stood up my long walk. <laughs> Oh, you're filming this? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, that's going on the channel. Now you guys get to see the meat chickens. Well, the one that got in the feeder. Let's look how big these guys got. These guys are younger than the other ones that we just moved. And they're about the same size. These are Freedom Red Rangers, our meat chickens. So yep. we're gonna gather these up now and put them in the chick shawl. We got all the peeps moved into the new spot of the le uh, leg heirs. <laughs> Egg layers. <laughs> yeah, I like having the leg heirs. The leg heirs. Look at her little tufts. Oh, she's got little baby tufts. Her beards. Little, uh, what do you call Mutton chops. Her little chops. You got little chops. She's gonna be pretty. She's got a little brown in her, too. She's got them chops. 